ahead and get things kicked off here by talking about the Facebook SDK, how to get it installed. And really, this is gonna be one video because it's quite the lengthy process. Facebook has an excellent guide. There's a few things out of date, but that's why I'm here to get you up to speed on those fixes. But we'll go ahead and dive into that in this video, and then the next one, we'll worry about the likes. All right, to get started with the Facebook SDK, they have really great documentation on their website. So go ahead and open up Safari and just search for iOS Facebook SDK. And you should be looking for something like this if you want to do the full URL, developers.facebook.com slash doc slash iOS. So this page is going to be changing all the time, so it might not be exactly what you've seen here. You should be able to follow all the same steps. But this getting started on iOS here, this is going to be great because it's got this quick start for iOS, which is just amazing. So if you first log in, it's going to ask you to log in. And so you're going to have to go provide your Facebook account. And if you don't have one, go ahead and create one. But once you've gone through, it's going to ask you to select a project. And here you can see some test ones that I had before, some were real ones as well. But if you don't have a project yet, go ahead and say skip and create app ID. And so that'll take you to the process of creating an app. It's basically just giving an app a name and hitting create. And once you do that, find it best just to come back and say, you know, click this quick start for iOS to come back to this page where you can select one from a list. But assuming you've gone and done that, I made one for this course here, test one, two, three. So you'll go ahead and select that. And then it's just going to walk us through step by step what we need to do. So first thing, you need to go get the Facebook SDK. Uh, so you can see this is quite different from like what we've done with using Cocoa Pods or something like that. And so it's going to have us download this SDK and it's telling us to put it inside of our documents directory. And so let's go ahead and open up our finder here. I'm going to take what we just downloaded here and I'm going to bring it into my documents. All right, so let's go ahead and move into the documents folder and look, we've got that Facebook SDKs dash iOS dash four. Yours might have a different name, but as long as you got something like that with all these framework files, you're going to be in a great place. So we've gone ahead and done that. And let's, while we're at it, folder names don't match up. So I'm going to copy this Facebook SDK name directly. I'm going to rename the folder that. So I'm going to come back here and name that to just straight up Facebook SDK. Great. Next, we need to add the Facebook SDK to our Xcode project. So it's saying, grab these frameworks, go ahead and plug those in. Before we can plug them into anything, we have to have an Xcode project that they can be added to. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new project. Let's fire up Xcode. And I'm just going to do a new Xcode project. Single view app. Let's just call this Facebook fun. Okay. Swift, we don't need core data or anything. That looks good. And I'll throw this on the desktop. Great. And then it told us we need to make a frameworks folder. So I'm going to create a new group here. And so I'm going to rename this frame works. There we go. And if we come back, it's telling us, hey, this is where we need to go get all of these from. So let's have Xcode open, but also we're going to bring in those different ones that it asked for. So I remember bolts was definitely one of them. So let's go ahead and pad that in. Make sure you have copy items if needed, create groups, and your app's name checked all there. So we'll hit finish. And let's see what else we need to add. So we've got bolts, FB, SDK, core kit. Okay. SDK core kit. I'm going to extend this over a bit so I can see it. Great. Next thing we need FB SDK login kit. Okay, login kit. There we go. Great. And the last thing that we need to add here is the share kit. All right. Let's go grab our share kit and plug it in there. Now one more step, we just have to let our project know about this new framework. So we're going to go over to our build settings here. Now it says open up Xcode's build setting in your project and add the Facebook SDK folder path to framework search path. So if you actually just take this string and you copy that, you come back to your project and you just search that right up top there, you will see that it gives you this option to look for other frameworks. And you can see it's already added our frameworks folder right there so we don't actually have to add anything else so we're already good to go with that all in place let's go ahead and move on to the next step so we have to edit our plist and so back to xcode here we've got our info.plist now we have to right click here and say 
that we want to view this. Let's see, open as source code. Technically, you don't have to do this, but it just makes it easier if you do. So let's get back to Safari here, copy in this code that we need to paste into our file. And so you just want to make sure you add it into the dictionary there. That's the body of your file. So we're going to come up to the top. There's that dictionary. So we'll just go ahead and paste that there. Okay. So with that all in place, next thing that we're going to do is let's go back to Safari. We want to add this as well. So we'll just go ahead and copy and then paste that at the top. Great. Next, it needs our bundle identifier. And so let's go back to our project here and let's just go to the general tab and we can copy this whole bundle identifier, copy that, and we can come back, paste that in. Okay. Go ahead and hit next. I love how easy it makes this for us. It just, you know, step by step, boom, 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 we're going to get this thing done. Next thing that we need to do is import FB core kit into our app. Now it's got this all in Objective C, which is a little bit annoying. I wish there was a little tab to say switch to Swift, but don't worry, we'll be able to change that. So first thing is let's go to our app delegate. And this is why I'm helping you guide you through this. And this is where we want to import, get back here, the FB SDK core kit. So now we're going to do import FB SDK core kit. Awesome, we got the autocomplete there. Next thing that we want to do is we need to add the following functions here. So Again, can't copy paste exactly because it's going to be a little bit different, but application did become active. Let's go ahead and add that. So we're going to do a new function here. Application. Well, I'll just start typing did become active. Well, it looks like maybe that function's already been implemented. Let's see. Did become active. There we go. So we can actually just take this existing function and just add the code that they said there. So FBSDK app events activate app. So FBSDK app events dot activate app. Great. Next thing that we need to do in the did finish launching is just return. Well, there's always return yes, but this is where we need to do FBSDK application delegate shared instance. Come up to the top here and we'll say FBSDK application delegate dot shared instance great next step is pass in the application and did finish launching with options so then we'll do dot application nope that's not the right one application let's see did finish launching there we go so now i can pass in application and i can also pass in the launch options Great, so that's all good to go there. So the last thing for us to add here is this application open URL. And unfortunately, the documentation here is a little bit outdated, but again, that's why I'm here to guide you through this. So what we need to do is open up here inside of Xcode, we need to write a new function. Let's see, open URL. You should get a function called application open URL options. Basically, we need to return back a Boolean, and Facebook has actually added an updated function for this. So we're going to do our FB SDK application delegate dot shared instance. Unfortunately, they haven't the autocomplete here. Something's funky about it because this is the function that we want. This one right here, application, where it opens with some options. But we're going to have to modify this a little bit. So instead of the underscore, we're going to type app here, and then comma. And then we're going to say open colon and we're going to provide in here the URL, comma, and then for options, colon, we're going to provide the options just like that. Okay. So go ahead, do a build, make sure that this is what the app is looking for. It's a little bit frustrating that that's the case, but you know, I'm here to update you. So we got all that in place. Now it's time for us to test and see if everything's working. So it's telling us, hey, let's go ahead and try this out inside of your app. So open up your view controller. Let's go back to our app. Let's open up our blank view controller that we have. Let's get rid of that did receive memory warning. I'm not a fan of that. And then it's going to ask us, okay, that we need to first import the login kit. So I'm going to say import FB SDK login kit. Great. And then because this is all in an Objective-C, I'm just going to copy and paste this code into our project. 
and just kind of leave it as a comment and then write the Swift equivalent there. So I'm going to paste this all in, just comment it out real quick. So first thing that we need to do is create a button. So I'm going to make a new variable that I'm going to be calling login button. And login button should just be equal to FB SDK login FB SDK capital login button. There we go. And we just want to do the open and close parentheses to make a new one of those. Next thing is we need to set it to the center. So we're going to say login button dot center is equal to view dot center. And last step here, we need to add this to our view. So we're going to say view dot add sub view. And we'll just pass in this login button. And I should change this to a let rather than a var. Great. So that's all good there. We can delete that code. Let's go back here. So if you haven't done so already, we need to add the following to our app delegate. And we have done that already. Uh, so we can go ahead and move past that. And so it's then saying, okay, if this is all works, you should be able to run, compile your app, see a login button. And if you can log into your app, the integration is successful. So this is a big moment for us. Let's go ahead and go and change to our classic iPhone 8 here. And we'll run this and see what we get. So while the app is popping up here in just a second, I just want to show what sort of the next steps are here, right? So you can do all sorts of things now that you have this into your project. I mean, the big thing is that you would want to, you know, be able to do things on the user behalf, like get their home timeline or post things on Facebook for them, right? But I mean, there's more that you can do beyond that, like you can get into ads and, you know, all this different stuff. But that's ultimately the goal of this whole setup here. So let's go ahead and get our app opened up here. Look at that. There's a continue with Facebook button. So we'll go ahead and click on this. Facebook wants to use facebook.com to sign in. Okay, great. This is looking expected. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put in my login info. So once I've logged in, it's saying, hey, test123, which is the name of our app, would like to use your profile. And if that's okay, go ahead, hit continue as Nick. And then look at that. It brings us back into our project and now shows the logout button. So pretty cool that we were able to get this far. Now, really, the next step is just getting some data to show up, you know, actually interact with this SDK, this API. And so we're going to go ahead and do that in the next video.